Hey everyone, good evening. This is probably going to be one of the last quant crawler videos that you see for a while until there's an actual major update, but I don't want to be doing videos every single day just about quant crawler for minor updates. And that's also not the reason why a lot of you guys subscribe to me. It's because we talk about trading, we execute trading, and that's what we do. We're a day trading channel and an AI channel. So if you've been annoyed lately about all the quant crawler stuff, it is going to calm down. It's just only been launched for a week and I've been trying to hot fix updates and release things. And I realized this morning I'm probably overdoing it. So at minimum, there will probably be one to two videos a week about quant crawler. Other than that, we're going to move on with the regularly scheduled program of doing day trading, talking about strategies and figuring out how we can all make more money. But right now is not the time for that. It's a quant crawler update, baby. I got one for you. So let me show you what I've done. We have a futures tab, a Forex tab, a crypto tab, and options are coming out in the next 24 hours. So let me show you what I've done. And then you're not going to hear about quant crawler for a couple of days. All right. So here we go. Quant crawler right here at the top. You're going to see a futures tab, which it defaults to. You are going to see a Forex tab, which is in beta, but it's actually we haven't really had any technical issues or reports on it. So I think it's doing better than I thought it was going to. So I don't know if this really needs to be in beta technically. And we have a crypto tab now. So let me just walk you through really quick what all three of these do, how you can use them and how they can benefit your technical analysis when it comes to making plays and trades during the day. We're going to start in the futures tab. Here's what you do. Follow what it says right here. Charts must show only price candles, no indicators, 15 minute, five minute, one minute, send it through. So you're going to come over to your chart. You're going to take your copy image, wherever you get your charts. This works anywhere. It doesn't have to be trading view or top step trade of eight, wherever you get your charts from, you can use this quant crawler program is not tied to anything specific. So it's its own standalone. So anyways, copy your 15 minute, paste it in. Copy your five minute, paste it in, come back, get your one minute, copy it, paste it in. You have your three charts, send it through. Now you can see here, it must be seeing something a little bit shaky that it doesn't like because current price 4202.1. You can see here in the top, this is semi-validated. We're at 4202.8. We're popping around. The entry point 4195. So let's take a look at where that's at. 4195 is right here. So it's wanting you to wait because this is the lowest point that it's been in the last little bit. Wait for a correction, see what it does. This is where the human side comes in. You get to decide what you wanna do right here. You don't have to wait on this. This is, you as a trader have to make that decision. Do you wanna wait for the pullback or do you wanna go in? That's up to you. But this is what it's recommending. Based on what it's seeing right here, this bottom wick is at 4195.9. That's why it's giving you the entry there at 4195.8, pretty much right at that low. It gives you your reasoning. It gives you option one with a single contract for a $200 risk, 20 points, 40 points. It gives you a three contract option right here. If you want to amplify your rewards times three, you're going to have a little bit tighter stop loss and you're going to have also a tighter take profit. Then popular demand, the chart structure in general, this is chart structure. It's not tied to a $200 risk to reward. So you can then read that one. Of course, scroll down as well. It's telling you where the support is off the five minute chart, where the resistance is off the five minute chart as well. And then if you want, you just click this button right here, enter your email, click the button one more time. It'll send you this trade, whether you took it or you did not take it. That's how you use the future side of quant crawler. The one that everyone's excited about, you come into the Forex tab. We have had a lot of requests for Forex. So let me show you how that one works. As you would imagine, it works the same as the futures. You need the 15 minute, five minute and one minute chart. So you come into wherever you are tracking this, looking at the charts, and you just copy and paste your one minute, five minute, and 15 minute in there. Try and scrunch this down to get as much context as you can, as much numbers. The more it has to work off of and see these trends, the better. So you do want to try and get as much as you can in there, truncate your chart however you need to. You know what I'm saying. The more data it has, the better it's going to perform in theory. That's how it should be. So you paste all this in, you send it through. Right here, it kicks out the XAU USD trade setup, entry price, stop loss, your pips, everything that you need. It's short and sweet, ready to go. People are having tremendous success with this this morning. We had someone who said they went five for five using this Forex this morning. So we take them at their word and uh, we've had great feedback on it. And so far, no technical problems. So don't want to jinx myself, but it's running well right now.
Now, everybody's favorite, crypto. Just so you guys know as well, every time you switch between one of these screens, there's a new disclaimer. I do that for liability purposes. Just so you know, that's never going to go away. I'm sorry if it's annoying, but it protects me. So it's going to stay. Okay, so in the crypto tab, this will not give you an entry point. The reason I did not set it up to do that is because crypto is volatile. And the only ones that I really feel like you can go more stable coins, Bitcoin, Solana, XRP, things like that. You can look at all of those. You can upload the charts. If you're going to be doing meme coin stuff, this may or may not work as good as you want it to. I can't integrate everything in for meme coins with it because there's just too many that are always populating and it's a massive data haul to constantly be pinging for meme coin stuff. So it's going to mainly do, it's coded to do 10 million market cap and up. So if you're trying to trade anything under a 10 million market cap and get valid results out of this, you're probably not gonna get it. And as of right now, this is probably how this is gonna stay unless there's significant feedback wanting different output on it. But Bitcoin, same thing, one minute, five minute, 15 minute. And I am updating the time frames as well. You can put any time frame chart you want in here within the next 24 hours. But right now, it's the one minute, five minute, and 15 minute. Once you send that through, you get another small truncated output here. Resistance, support, technical observations. It's in a downtrend, bounce after a large volume, and range bounce. So it's neutral. And watch right here. Break above could signal bullish momentum. You'd want to just keep your eye on it at 101,700 in case it breaks out. And that's most likely coming from the five minute chart, which it is. Once it gets here, maybe a possible correction from this big drop today. But this is the crypto overview. And again, there will not be an entry point, a stop loss, or a take profit like you would see on futures or Forex. Um, this is going to be more of just educational chart reading breakdown and telling you the trends that it's seeing to support what you're thinking on the move you're looking for. So that's it. I'm sorry if I've overwhelmed you lately with Quant Crawler. I'm excited about it. I'm building it. We're building a great community in Discord. We're building a great community in the lives. And it's a great program if you understand that not everything has a 100% hit rate. Um, we've had a couple people upset saying, I tried this five times and only one, two. Well, yeah, nothing's 100%, especially in trading. If you were to operate in day trading at a 50% win rate with a one to two risk to reward and you were managing what you're risking to what your reward is going to be, you would be profitable with a 50% win rate because you would lose 50% of the time, but the other 50% that you win, you're getting two times what you're risking. So you would be profitable. Nothing's going to be 100%. This isn't 100%. When I back tested it over 500 different patterns, charts, and having it recognized, it pulled a 77%. That very well could be a fluke. We've had, since this launched seven days ago, over 6,300 separate transactions ran through here as far as analyzing charts. So if we had 6,300 people and we were winning 77% of the time, a lot of us would be very, very, very happy right now, and we would have more money than we know what to do with. So keep in mind, this is technical analysis, and it can be wrong, but it also has produced a ridiculous amount of wins. This is supposed to be a tool to support you and help guide you, not to completely lead you to the financial promised land of retirement.